In this particular segment, I'd like to show you a little bit of the JKD that I've done over the years, and I'd like to show you some of the details that you probably haven't heard before. Um, I know that sounds kind of, uh, I'm not sure what kind of adjective I would put on it, but I, I want to show you some details that will definitely make a difference in your, in the Gen Fund kickboxing. Um, they're very subtle, uh, but they're very, very important. So I'd like to focus on two things today, stance, and footwork. Okay, so sometimes we fight out of the left lead, sometimes we fight out of the right lead. But regardless of the lead, we have uh, the rear heel is raised, our hands are up, our chin are down, and our elbows are tucked. Uh, and our weight is generally about 50-50. Now, with respect to footwork, I want to start with footwork. Um, the simple step and slide footwork, whether we go forward or whether we go backwards. Um, very, very important footwork to train and to do, but most people learn it, do it a few times, and then move on. But there's so much depth to the step and slide footwork. For example, to deal with most punches, all you have to do is step and slide back half the distance of your foot. To deal with most kicks, all you have to do is step and slide back the entire distance of your foot. Here's what I mean. I want you to take a look at this white line here. And so as I'm in a stance and a punch comes at me, to deal with the punch, all I need to do is move back half the distance of my foot. It doesn't look like much, and I know some of you are saying, oh, I'm not sure I believe you. Well, let me show you something. Uh, Brooks, please. So I'm gonna put my foot halfway in the line. Brooks punch is going to go halfway to two-thirds of the way through my head and I'm going to step and slide back half the distance of my foot. The punch ends up a couple inches short of my face. One more time. So same thing and now I take a step back. Pretty cool, huh? Now same thing, let's move and have you move back just a little bit. I'm going to put my heel on the line. And the same thing, we have the punch that goes halfway to two-thirds of the way through my head, and now I'm going to step back one entire length of my foot. And look at how far the punch ends up away from my, uh, from my head. One more time. Heel is on the line. Punch goes through my head. I step and slide back the distance of my foot. Thank you, Brooks. So when it comes to doing your footwork, to defend against punches, you really don't have to move that far back. Now, why am I recommending that you move only half the distance of your foot? So that you have the ability to counterattack very, very quickly. And you can counterattack by many times by leaning forward or by taking a small step forward. If you get in the habit of, do you see how my foot is so far in front of this, it's almost like when I move back, I move back the length of two of my feet. Um, you can move back that far and make the punch end up much farther away from your face, but if you're going to try and counterattack immediately, it's going to be much more difficult because you have a lot more distance to cover coming back. So if you get in the habit of just simply taking a step back and going forward, taking a step back, half a step back to get out of the range of the punch. To counterattack and to be able to hit them by going forward, you only have to go half the distance of your foot. Do you see how we have economized the motion? We've economized the footwork so that we're not moving as far? So that's the first thing I wanted to share with you about uh, uh, stance and footwork. In this second segment, what I'd like to do is show you the importance of your stance, having that rear heel raised. It not only locks and loads your rear leg so that you're ready to offend with a punch or with a kick or even shooting in for uh, a double leg or a single leg takedown, but it also makes, you, makes a great tool for defending against punches. I'd like to show you what I mean. Brooks. So right now, it doesn't really matter where I stand on the line. What matters is that my rear heel is raised. And so with that same punch that goes halfway to two-thirds of the way through my head, 
when I put my heel on the ground and lean back ever so slightly, I'm not leaning back like this, I'm just leaning back slightly. I am out of range of the punch. Again, so as I have my normal stance, I put my heel on the ground and make my leg straight so that I have something to brace myself against. Then when I see that punch go back, I can now drive forward and punch without having to change uh, my footwork. So do you see how having your rear heel raised and your rear leg locked and loaded? One more time, please. And by putting your heel on the ground, and then when the punch goes back, you bend your leg and drive forward. Thank you. This will make your ability to counterattack so much faster. So I hope you enjoyed these uh, two segments, one on stance and one on footwork. And I uh, hope you try and add them to your game because they will definitely help you. And uh, in future segments, I'll show you some other things, some other subtle things that we do in JKD that are a little bit different than what other people do. Um, I'll see you soon.